Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. You know, sometimes it's those random occasions where you're like, you know what? I really think that person is cute. Yeah, but maybe you're not in a position where you could like say, hey, what's your name? Could I have your number? Can I call you sometime? Yeah. So when those instances occur, sometimes you got to go to misconnections. That's where Kelly and I, we scour that website every single week and we bring Countless them to life. Hours. Yep. Yeah. When you strike out in real life, you can always try Craigslist Missed Connections. Ladies first? Yeah. This is a woman for man. It's titled Hottie with the Horn. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Dear sir, it hurts me to write this because your hotness level is so high. Oh. Here it goes, though. I know that by living in a city like this, you take a risk by having a car in the first place. What I can't understand is why your alarm is set at a level where thunder, wind, an old lady using walker, the buses, the sun rising, other cars driving by, tomcats fighting, a cake falling, six rounds of Mario Kart, and the thought wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma about your car, a librarian session, a patron, 12 blocks back, or the mere possibility of someone using unripe tomatoes causes your alarm to spew its indelicate eight, yes, I counted, types of noises <laughs> indicating one of the above activities has occurred. Wow, that's a lot there. It was. Got it a was. touchy alarm. Okay. I, I got okay. a little lightheaded on that one. Let me catch the breath. I understand. I don't know exactly what's in the hatch of your hatchback, but I can only presume it is important. Ah, uh, okay. Since I'm apparently the only person in the neighborhood who bothers to pay attention anymore, I just wanted to let you know that if I took a crowbar to your driver's side <laughs> window in order to find the alarm and get some <laughs> sleep, no one would notice anyway. Oh, my gosh. So if you sell your car, or aren't scared off by now, I'd love to let you hear the noises I make. Oh. Hit me up. Wee wee wee. Set off my alarm. That's sir. right. That's right. Wow. Okay. I so he a- must have been real hot yeah. to overcome everything. That she had to overcome in that story, right? Now, he has to sell his car first before anything can proceed, yeah. right? I feel like that's a deal breaker. <laughs> right. we're, we're not keeping the hatchback. No, we're not. it's Craigslist Missed Connections. All right, this one's titled, To the Girl Who Kicked Dog Poop at Me. Oh, okay. Again, <clears throat> I feel like there's an obstacle to overcome here. Man for woman. <laughs> you had no idea you did it. And it's not that I'm actually angry at you, but rather a bit puzzled as to how someone could step in a pile of dog poop that considerable. Ooh. In wow, must have been maybe a mastiff. In strappy heels, not notice, and then as you continue to do your heel toe chicken strut, manage to <laughs> fling a small portion of said poo directly onto my shin. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I saw it in your face that you had no recognition of what you were doing. Yeah. But by now, you must have figured it out, cleaned it off, and are probably neck deep in the toilet, vomiting up the last of your banana nut muffin, because I saw, I saw <laughs> some of it on your open toe, which oh, no doubt you yeah. have by now as well. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. So... Crap kicker. (laughs) I do not blame you for your actions, but I do pose a question. Uh Karmically speaking, Uh you stepped in that dog poop for a reason. Probably a wrongdoing of some kind in a past life or in this one. Okay, so she, that's karma coming back to bite her. What'd you do to deserve that? I ask you. What you think you might have done to cause this event to transpire. Let's cleanse the soul right here. And how did I get involved? Perhaps it is I who owes you the apology. Seeing as how some sort of horrible transgression on my part towards you was finally paid up today when you sent that Hershey kiss of dog excrement hurtling towards my Banana Republic pants. Everything is random, yet nothing is. Oh, wow. So 
guy's deep. I digress, my crap kicking girl. I say we're even. And for oh. what it's worth, I'm sorry about that little incident 239 years ago. I never intended to have my horse kick you in the mouth like that. Okay. That's actually a lie. I kind of intended that, but... Oh my gosh! <laughs> but didn't think it would cause such extensive damage. The practice of dentistry wasn't then what it is today. 